everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're gonna random here. I had an awesome run last time as Eden. It was a lot of fun. This time we're gonna be playing as Judas. Uh, high risk, high reward, high times for Magazine of the... Um, not really, though. Okay, Rock Lee, two, smiles, orgy. Not Rock Lee, smile, one. That's a different guy. I know that's not orgy, but two is kind of like the R of the number kingdom, if you think about it. The number kingdom! Never really thought about it that way. All right, so this is, you know Judas. You know the type, loud as a motorbike, but wouldn't bust a grape in a fruit fight. Might be food fight. It's been a while since I heard 99 problems. Anyway, um, low HP to start with. If he gets HP, almost unstoppable. His momentum is crazy. Non-stop deals with the devil, guaranteed as long as he keeps Book of Belial. And uh, pretty much nothing can stand in his way again, like a Wilco song off of Summer Teeth. Please. 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 Alright. Wouldn't mind picking up a Spirit Heart. That would make me extremely happy and we'll totally use uh, our bombs to check this out. Ghost Baby. You know, I don't talk about it that much, but Ghost Baby is probably the best item in uh, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And I'm trying out a new thing called the Power of Positive Thinking, which is basically just if you lie to yourself uh, about something being awesome when it's actually shitty, it'll turn awesome. So, uh, Ghost Baby, psh, what could be better? It's the greatest. Um, what's not to like? First off, how did your shots do that? But also, we found maybe a black market here, which is pretty cool. Um, first off, you get bullets that you didn't have. Awesome. Secondly, they go through rocks. Awesome. So this is like the worst opportunity ever to get a black market. And there's not even a farkin demon judgment to play once, or a regular judgment to play like 10 times. That's incredibly frustrating, but maybe we'll get like some extra HP and we could trade. I would love to trade for Mom's Key. We could actually spin this. You get HP, trade one away for Mom's Key, gives you enough keys to get into the shop. On the shop, you know, if you need to, use a bomb to blow up your donation machine, or even two bombs, pick up a Spirit Heart, and then set yourself up nicely for the next floor with roughly the same amount of HP. Not the Spirit Heart for the deal with the devil's sake, but the Spirit Heart for, you know, just goddamn survival's sake. So th there is still a workable way to do this. The other thing we could do is, you know, if we get something that gives us spirit hearts, like Squeezy, for example, or uh, Matchbook, or, you know, a couple of different things there, uh, we could use that to uh, to play the Blood Bank, or just, sorry, to play the, um, the Black Market and pick up Mom's Key. I think Mom's Key was the best item. I didn't really pay that much attention. Well, we're going to get one spirit heart for sure here. That gives us Mom's Key, or allows us to get Mom's Key. Mom's key allows us to get into the shop and hopefully buy another spirit heart, but it's is it worth doing? Honestly, I think probably not, but it's ridiculous, so I'm gonna do it. Because it's insane. So yeah, I mean we have the battery, fanny pack. I think mom's key is definitely the best out of these. So we we get two extra keys out of it. Uh all chests will be awesome for us in the future. That's nothing to sneeze at. It's a ballsy play, especially if there ends up not being a uh, spirit heart for sale in here, but thankfully there is. The compass is pretty awesome as well. I'm kind of tempted to just like crack into this. And uh, we need 20 cents. That's going to take us to 14. 17. One more should do it. So we'll buy the spirit heart here and we'll be able to buy the compass as well. No arcade on the next floor, but <laughs> I think that's okay. We're not going to be playing a blood bank too much, so it's alright. You want to try to find the secret room? Sure, I'll try to find the secret room. Let's look right there. Seems extremely likely. And on that, we pick up another three cents, which we don't really need, but that's totally justify, just justifiable for me. Alright, down on the next floor. Weird Judas run so far. I, I always like to take the advantage of, uh, or take advantage of uh, those rooms when we have the opportunity to. You know, you don't get a black market very, very often in this game unless you play a much different strategy than I do, I guess. And even if it put us in a super weird position, the, we have a lot of runs in Isaac that are not in a weird position. Pretty much by definition, most of them are not weird. Uh, so, I'm happy with this. We get Mongo Baby. It's, it is what it is. The most important thing here is to remember, we have two Spirit Hearts, no Red Hearts. Now, I'm not going to go into all the permutations that may or may not make this workable for a... Um, a deal with the devil standpoint. Oh, we need some bombs here. Thank you, Ghost Baby. Uh, but suffice it to say, we need to keep our HP in mind as we go through this floor. Hopefully, it matters because we are going to get a deal with the devil as long as we live, at least. 
but uh, we need to pay very close attention and, and keep a constant barometer of where our HP is, a mental barometer that is, for barometric pressure. And uh, we'll just have Ghost Baby finish the job there. If we, if we can make this work, that would be amazing. I'll buy another Spirit Heart here because I want to get to three. Then if we get a Spirit Heart from our boss, assuming we don't get hit, which is a big assumption to make, we could be fighting the haunt, um, then it'll allow us to uh, take a deal with the devil. The other way that things could work is we could get an HP upgrade from the boss, and then we could take one deal with the devil that costs us a red heart instead, or that costs us spirit hearts for that matter, but we couldn't mix and match. For now though, let's just see what we got. It's Pin, which is probably the easiest boss that we could fight um, that is uh, seller exclusive, or seller specific at least. Fistula I think is a little tougher. Blighted Ovum can catch ya. Easy fight, we get an HP upgrade, let's see what we got. It's a Krampus fight, which, to be honest with you, might be ideal. And I know I'd talk about this uh, probably with some people who consider ad nauseum, but... Krampus fight, is it's best to show up when you have no HP. And it's a very easy fight for us to finish. We get Lump of Coal, which is an objective improvement to our run. And uh, now we will... I know this is not going to be a lovely idea, but we're going to sacrifice a Spirit Heart to go to our Curse Room. Because we can afford to, basically. So why not? Maybe we'll get some more Spirit Hearts on it, maybe we'll get a Guppy item, maybe we'll get Spiders, yeah, there you go, we got Spiders, that's okay. We got a little bit of HP right now, so we can afford to roll with it. What am I going to do with this Emperor card? Well, I'm saving it, because it is a, uh, like a Plan B teleportation card. We could use this to get out of our boss trap room with a free item, which is really awesome. Um, yeah, I think this is worth it, even though we don't have, well, it's easy enough. Sure, I will, uh, I'll take Dark Matter, honestly. I like the damage upgrade aspect of it. We just got Guppy's Paw for free. That doesn't really do anything for us right now, but, you know, in the future that could come in handy. But, uh, yeah, I like to play dangerously on this, and this is working out well for us. And there's no reason for us to use the Emperor card on this floor, because we've already gotten the, uh, the deal with the Devil, and got no curse that we need to, like, you know, get out in front of or anything like that. That is an extremely lucky drop there. I'm liking this run. I like the runs where they give you... I like the runs. I like the run type, not the, the poop. I like the run... the runs where you can, um, you know, play super aggressively, but the game still gives you the resources that you need in order to, you know, stay alive. There are some runs where if you play aggressively... I, I, n I never like to call any run in Isaac unwinnable, because it's just not true, you know. You call a run unwinnable, someone will show you how they won on it with the seed system here, but... Um, that was very, very stupid of me. But, uh, there are some runs where if you play aggressively, it's almost impossible to win. You put yourself in a very, you know, deleterious position, to say the least. Um, but there are runs like this where you kind of get the best of both worlds, you know? Play aggressively, you get the opportunities to play aggressively, pick up some good items. And it's not too easy. That could kill us, so I'm, like, super nervous right now. We, oh, no, nah, it's not going to help. <laughs> like, one single hit can kill us. Now, we have, we're doing a ton of damage. It's beautiful. But uh, we definitely need some more HP. What we don't need is another freaking familiar. I'll tell you that much flat out. At least we can't die in one hit on this room. But we could get to the point where we would die in one hit. Oh, that's that nickel pickup is enormous. Because that's the spirit heart money, you know? Without that, we would not be able to uh, pick up a Spirit Heart, unless we had some bombs, which now we do, but um, we would be in a much scarier position. I just teleported with Curse of the Maze, and I'm scared. Do I want to fight the boss right now, or do I want to... I think I want to try to come back, and that actually ended up being a good decision, I think. In here, we'll get a Spirit Heart. I would love to get Black Candle, but I don't think it's going to be conceivable. So we'll just leave. Maybe if we get Pageant Boy from our, from our boss, we'll come back. And we got one more scent here. Let's go fight our boss. Probably wouldn't have taken one hit of damage against the Hollow, but now we don't have to worry about it, right? We're happy to have the HP that we have. And we've already taken Fear Shot, so our deal with the Devil here is meaningless, but free boss item is lovely. Extra damage and extra speed, and we'll just check to be sure. Maybe we'll get a dime here. Nope. Down to the next floor. About two minutes ahead of schedule for boss rush, but uh, I'm mostly just worried about keeping ourselves, you know, head above water here. We will check out our boss trap room. If you've got an early guppy item, you owe it to yourself to check out all the curse rooms and all the boss trap rooms unless they'll put you in a super shitty position. And there is pretty much our spirit heart amount of money, but I, I wouldn't be surprised to see if we fight uh, greed on this floor. 
I'm taking advantage of the shops a little bit uh, to keep our survival up, and it can't last forever. Now, remember, we did get Mom's key, so whenever possible, we want to open chests, even golden chests, uh, which was not wouldn't be that much of an issue because we have a lot of keys anyway. But I uh, just want to reiterate, in case you're wondering, like, why is Northern Lion opening these, like, stone chests? Well, it's largely because of Mom's key, actually. Mom's key is going to keep us flush with consumables. Stop jumping. I don't know why, man. Peep's like, he's my Achilles heel at this point in the game still. Probably one of the bosses that I fought the most, but that doesn't stop him from being a pain in the dick. Don't know why I did that so sing songy like but that's okay. Stay away here. You know what? At this point, I'm actually welcoming more familiars. Come on in. I'm, I'm taking all kinds right now. That way, if we get BFF... <laughs> I really thought I would be able to make it there. That way, if we get BFF, we're getting like the maximum plausible benefit out of it. Okay, Master of Unlocking, or Master of Lockpicking, is uh, amazing for us here if we can get like Guppy's tail, which we would love to get. We got Mom's key anyway. To open those chests for free would be crazy good. I don't like this room. Even though the enemies all die in one shot with our amount of damage. Annoying room nonetheless. Curse room is very tempting. We got enough keys to maybe see if a secret room is adjacent to it, which would save me a little bit of um, a little bit of mental anguish, I think. Always like a mini boss fight. Thank god we got that speed upgrade earlier. Otherwise this might be a little trickier, but it's a little tricky as is. Just trying to get them in the right position there, but let's see what we got going on over here. This is our our true like value corridor here. That's, there's like a, a an American hardware store called True Value, right? They should really talk about to Cindy Lopper about licensing true colors. I see your true value shining through. Discount lumber. That's why I love you. I'm, I'm embarrassed about my singing voice, but you wouldn't know it from watching these videos. Ah, Balls of Steel, that's pretty good. That's pretty great. And now we actually might be able to snag a couple deals with the devil. We can get three of them if one of them keeps us alive. You know, if we get like a mark or a ceremonial robes or something like that. And we take it last. But for now. Dun dun dun. It's getting serious now. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Let's see what we've got going on in here. Chubb, not a problem whatsoever. Yes, that was my soul fetch interpretation of the uh, Terminator 2 theme song. Not very smart damage on my part. That's alright though, it happens. Come on, good deal with the devil. We paid our Krampus tax already. Safety pin's okay. Contract from below is awesome. Not quite the damage that I'm looking for, but it's it's good. I kind of wanted to get the ability to fly, though, because uh, I wanted to be able to access that golden chest. But I don't want to sacrifice HP to do so. And probably HP to go back as well. What do you think? Three bombs? Spirit heart, maybe? Or the secret room? No, I'm actually glad the secret room is not there. So that I can come up here and... Oh, it's not going to be there either. Dang it. Given our situation, I think it is wise to um, to still go to our curse room. Even though it will cost us our black heart and then half of the spirit heart that succeeds it. And it didn't work out. But that's okay. It's not always going to work out. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard. Anyway. Here we go. Okay. That's fine. That's beautiful, baby. Damn, baby, I can't do it that fast, but I know someone who can. I know this is going to seem lazy, but we're actually going to leave. Because I want to stay a little bit ahead of the boss rush curve, just in case we need to. And we'll uh, we'll head down to the next floor. Contract from below, beautiful. If we can get double the golden chests, again, it makes Guppy's Tail such a good pickup for us, but we can't seem to swing it just yet. Okay, lovely. I was, I was looking out for maybe getting uh, another guppy item right there, but I think that with Book of Belial and our current situation, you have to be imagining that we pull out a guppy in this one. I would be amazed if we didn't. We got two guppy items already, tons of survivability. We could even Suicide King ourselves and come out with a guppy item on, the, uh, on a curse room or on the, the chest or something. And we got a ton of money here. This is, I'll call it right now, the nine lives pickup. I do think it's one of the most, it, a lot of people love it, but I think strategically speaking, if you ignore even the guppy uh, consequences, it's one of the best strategic like value items in the game for sure. 
So I, I would call this a one run. I rarely end up losing with nine lives. I can't believe there was like a year, maybe even slightly more than a year, where in vanilla, I never took nine lives and I thought it was a shit item because it took your HP away. Once I got over that, I've been I've been kicking it ever since. Kicking myself for probably losing a lot of runs that should have been won. So we have Blank Card Emperor. It's something. Uh, it's not really worth it for me. And I don't really like Converter. I don't like to mess around with it. It was cool for us on that last Eden run, but I don't want to mess around with Converter if I can avoid it, you know? Don't... Br don't... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Even if it is broke, you know? As long as it still works like 2%, don't worry about it. Nothing there. Okay, this is the moment of truth. I kind of ran a little bit to our boss room here because I want to... Um, I want to get this over with and see if we can pick up that guppy item that'll give us the extra damage that I need to just fall in love with this run. Now, the, the fear shot is helping out, keeping the leapers away from me whenever it hits. Gemini's doing a pretty good job of um, some extra free damage. Not in love with the pills, but there are balls of steel ones. Sure, you know what? There you go. We'll take Demon Baby, and it puts us back in the position where we don't have any HP, but that's totally fine. We've been in that position for so long that it's you know starting to feel natural. Range down sucks a little, but is it worth a range down pill to get a balls of steel pill? Honestly, I think probably yeah. And again, oh, this is gonna this is gonna rub some people the wrong way, but I'm just gonna head down to the next floor. I want to stay ahead of the, like the free boss rush item as long as I'm not skipping item rooms and shops and probably curse rooms, boss rush rooms. Now I don't really care, so I, I think this is the proper choice from a strategic standpoint. There we go. There's our Guppy item, and it is Guppy's tail. If it wasn't a one run before, it's a one run now. And we should be able to just snowball out of control here. Now, admittedly, our, our individual damage per fly is not that high. And neither is our rate of fire. No reason, really, to take advantage of that. But uh, it just, just too much is working out in our favor right now. I will say it's fucking terrible um, that we have Curse of the Blind on a floor where we want to... Uh, to be able to see what we're taking from Boss Rush, but maybe we'll get super lucky and get a black candle from our shop. We had the opportunity to get a black candle earlier, but I don't think that precludes us from getting one in the future. I'll check out our reroll room, but I don't, I really don't want to reroll this whole run. I've been doing it a lot, uh, you know. I think you get a free pass now and then, right? Right? I would forget me now this floor, but I'd have to be able to teleport out of the Boss Rush first with a different kind of card, which actually with this much time left, it's fairly conceivable that we could work that out. But we'll see. Maybe it won't, oh, it is a dice room for sure, but maybe it won't be a one or a six. There's a two-thirds chance it won't be a one or a six, right? There it is, it's a one. I don't know. I think I might, I know we, ah, you know what, I'll do it. And the reason I'll do it is because we get to stay being guppy. And then we can get something ridiculous along with it. So we got x-ray goggles, proptosis, we're exceptionally slow. Guppy's head, oh, beautiful, we got a space bar item to replace the one. That we lost. Um, and we can still steal an item from Boss Rush. We have 11 lives now. I don't even know what's up with that. But um, this is this is good. I'm not sure if it's a better reroll. Like, we are real fucking slow. But, um, yeah, again, I'm not sure if it's better. Sad Bombs is so good. All right, you know what? I'm happy with this. I'm, I'm happy-ish, at least. We get the battery. Mm, could be something for us. Uh, for now, though, let's just make our way through here. The guppy is is the reroll insulator because you know, even if you reroll, you still get to keep the the guppy transformation, which is really the defining characteristic of what makes the run good. So I, I don't think we missed out on anything terrible by rerolling our whole run there. And truth be told, what we what we missed out on is like five familiars. So I'm not gonna sweat that too much. This is gonna hurt. We're so slow. Oh, we made it. Okay, that's a better teleportation card. Uh, oh, well, not really, because we don't we don't really want to do any backtracking. Doesn't really matter which card. Although we could use the Emperor card after this, so yeah, sure. Let's uh, take our Stars card. It's gonna be a long walk back, but it does allow us to use the Emperor card and thus just immediately fight probably Isaac on the Cathedral. Is this another Guppy item, maybe? No, that's okay. More than enough time to make it into Boss Rush here. I'm pretty pleased with the way that things have gone. Come on, give me a Purity Rune. The Gaz Rune. Uh, we don't have to blow this stuff up, because we have... Um, uh, yeah, two of clubs for sure. Um, but we have um, Samson's Chain, but it's faster this way. We have Homing Bombs as well, I just noticed. Oh, we have Taurus! That's why our speed's so shitty. I get it. All right. All right. Stars. 
full health. All right, that's meaningless. Uh, we'll take the stars. We must have the miter or something. Like, why are we getting so many spirit arts from fires? Maybe just good luck. Fight mom should be pretty simple here. Red mom, uh, nothing to get worried about, I'd say. Fight's pretty much already over. Fight's literally already over. Pisces is okay. Um, I'm not gonna fight this race. I'm too lazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. I'm a bastard, it's true. You guys remember Prozac? Who, who doesn't remember Prozac, right? Was Prozac big in America? They were huge in Canada for about two songs. That was their, their lifespan. Oh, I think we... I should have realized this earlier. But we we have Bloody Lust. Yeah, I see that we have a Suicide King card. You're not wrong. Um, I don't know how I want to use it. Fuck it. Let's do it. What's the rune? Awas. Well, we got a Spirit Heart out of it, so I feel good about that. The Cancer Trinket's probably better for us. I already lost the Spirit Heart. Full health, very useful. Uh, Butterbean, wow, well worth it. And we might actually die in the process here. Yeah, okay, that was a, uh, probably not the best uh, use of a Suicide King card. Some people might consider that a throw. Some people uh, might be right. Hey, was, was. All right, I always use that in that situation. Uh, but this, this makes the run more exciting, at least. I think. Um, yeah, Prozac had that song, Sucks to be you. I know, I know. And they were like Canadian, they had British accents for some reason. Nobody knows why. No, I mean, they could have been, you know, recent immigrants to Canada, I suppose, or something, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Um, they also had that song. Was it, I got a strange disease. Oh, wee -oo, wee -oo. It was weird, they took like a really sharp left turn, because originally, they were like, I don't know, they, they, they sang a lot about sexual intercourse in, in thinly veiled undertones. Uh, and then they they had a bunch of songs that were about, they were like anti-bullying, which is a totally like, you know, it's, it's a righteous cause. It just kind of seems like a weird pivot. You know, I guess they handed to Prozac, you know, Simon and Milo, they were doing what they wanted to do. They were true to their art. They also had a song called www.nevergetoveryou, which is pretty much like the ultimate like turn of the millennium, what is this weird internet thing going on? Kind of song that I could possibly imagine, at least just by its name. Spirit Hearts, please. Ooh, we did get some Spirit Hearts out of it. And a couple of Balls of Steel pills, so... Again, just never let anyone tell you Northern Line doesn't take dumb risks for the for the sake of uh, your enjoyment, you know? I'm here doing the dumbest shit on the planet on a regular basis. Some of it's intentional, some of it's not. But it, it very often... In fact, I'd say more than more than 50% uh, of the time, it ends up working out fantastically for us. Must have a horseshoe shoved straight up my bunghole. Come on, come on. And this should be a one run, but it's a little bit early to, you know, really be throwing that out as a foregone conclusion. What are my tickets to success on this one? Use sad bombs, because you have proptosis. Um, use sad bombs more often. And... Don't get hit. That's a big help. Yeah, I just want to get out of here. <laughs> just let me go. I hate these enemies. Fucking Loch Ness monstros. Why don't I pick up more money? Because money's just an outdated fucking cultural system, man. I don't support it. That's why I didn't take more fucking money. Tears down. That's a great pill. Maybe I'll take that just to, just to F around. You got a problem? I didn't think so. Yeah, just keep moving. Please, though, for real, like, Dark Bomb would be amazing right here. Don't ever try to attack me again. You'll regret it, except for that time when you actually hit me and it worked out totally fine. I still, like, even if we get down to 1 HP, I'm pretty sure that this is a one run. It's gonna be a weird one. That was awesome. I'm a big fan of that. Speedball? You know what? We are pretty slow. Maybe this will make Taurus work faster. Oh, yeah! Okay. That Abaddon pickup is pretty huge. Damage is gonna be nuts. Makes Sad Bombs even better. Um, what's bullshit about this is that now everybody's gonna be saying, Well, Abaddon carried you. I think I could have done it without Abaddon, man. It would have been, you know, not as easy for sure. 
And I should also, you know, mention that this doesn't guarantee a win, but it does probably put us in a position where it's pretty freaking likely. It makes our flies substantially better. It makes our bombs substantially better. All right, I mean, I know I said money's an outdated concept, but come on now. Ten cents for free? And nobody's going to pass that up. All right, so this should be, uh, it should be a relatively easy win now. And actually now uh, that... We got Abaddon with that two hard deal. I'm pretty stoked that we got Speedball because that extra speed is actually like really meaningful. I'm not gonna lie to you. Your loving gets me high to keep you by my side. There's nothing that I won't try. Butterfly in our eyes and the looks to kill. Time has passed and I'm asking, can this be real? Because I can't sleep, I can't hold still. The only thing I really know is she got sex appeal and I can feel. Too much is never enough. Gonna something, something, something when the times get rough? I don't know, I forgot about that last one. This is surprising you know, degree of recognizance when it comes to uh, Crazy Town's Butterfly, but it was a huge song, man. Okay, no one, no one's gonna pass up a nickel here, or, you know, three cents, sure, let's not be crazy, I mean, we've all got principles, but come on. Demon Judgment, mm, doesn't really matter. Ooh, a secret room. Don't mind if I do. I'm loving the one-shotting fistula element of this run right now. That's that's a principal part of my success, and I'm I'm enjoying it. Boss room, like right here. Okay, second secret room though. That means we're probably due for our boss room right here. Oh, there is one still alive. Pills. Some of these are good. Balls of steel is good. We we've, we've gotten the shit end of the stick with curses on this run. You got to admit, bad trip's not gonna help us. The emperor card is you know. Integral to my uh, my strategies here. I don't care if there's a tinted rock. I mean, if there was one and I noticed it, I would love to get it. But I don't care enough to look. That's a problem, you know. That's that's on me. I'm not gonna lie about it. Your loving gets me high to keep. No, we'll stop that. All right, not a good little spat of damage there to start with, but that's okay. The homing bombs are gonna get the job done, along with the sad bomb element. Really, we got, you know, 39, like, nuclear fucking missiles we can drop down here. We'll Emperor card. Kill Isaac, easily, I think. Um, be right down on the chest, and hopefully not get a Curse of the Blind, so we actually uh, can pick up some items and know what their synergies are gonna be. Okay, so we've already blown the fucking doors off of this run. And we have Taurus. This is good timing, I guess. That was a very weird-looking effect there, but it got the job done. And let's see what we got going on here. I'm assuming it should be an easy win, but maybe we get soy milk or something that completely screws us. No Curse of the Blind. Sacrificial Dagger's good. Piercing Shots is amazing. Pyro is not worth anything for us right now. But if we get HP after we die once, it will be. Run through the math in your head. I think it checks out. The Piercing Shots are, are huge, though. I mean, literally, physically enormous, but also... Uh, a big help. We've gotten a luck upgrade or two. Shielded tears along with piercing tears, along with sad bombs, along with homing bombs. It's just stupid. It's just a stupid degree of help. I appreciate it a lot. And I'm happy we re-rolled. And it's amazing that I, I often have hesitation about that. And then it almost always ends up working itself out. I'm not sure whether the common element is me or the game. But either way, I'm thankful for it. Not a secret room. It's a dead end, actually. I can't shoot the bombs anymore. <laughs> it's a little, little unfortunate. There we go. Taurus is ready. Bonesaw is also ready. He's got you three minutes for either play or me time, depending on your interpretation of Macho Man Randy Savage's uh, diction, shall we say. Mmm, quite. I don't really want to do this room, but we don't really have a choice in the matter, so we're going to do this room. Man, the sad bombs... The fact that sad bombs synergize with flies is so amazing. I love it. Some might even say I would want some more of it. I can't believe that you're still alive. That's a testament to basically just your your virulence. What am I even saying? Puberty. Perfect time to get that. I totally forgot we have x-ray vision. Why am I even looking around to see, uh, you know, what we're trying to see here? I'm never going to be mad about more bomb synergies on a run like this where bombs are so integral to our success. Well, let's finish the job, shall we? Fun run. Just two guys who are having a good time here. Blue Baby is basically dead. 
baby. I'm not really good at the catchphrases, but we're done. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.